Temperatures have been on the rise over the past couple of days and yesterday we for the first time in a long time we had showers on the radar. Even some rain here in Rochester. Parts of the city had a little bit of rain downtown, a little bit of rain and at the airport a trace amount. The first time we did, even had a trace of rain in 16 days. It had been a while and you see some of that uh, rain in the distance. Watch the uh, some of the uh, the rain in the distance. That's uh, time lapse from last evening. Uh, uh, that's our Louis Dodato camera, a little droplet on the camera lens and some sunshine making for a beautiful sunset there uh, last evening. Uh, right now that the rain has moved on here for Rochester, but looking at the possibility of redevelopment maybe later today or, or certainly this evening. But right now we have some sunshine in Austin. Uh, the showers have been nearby and maybe see some more of that building northward from North Iowa. Activity coming in from the south. That's a future track radar uh, right now. Uh, activity around Osage down to Mason City. A little bit of lightning with that, but pretty weak activity. It's really beginning to fizzle out and slowly push to the north. So right around Lyle uh, approaching Mason City, moving to the northeast toward Leroy and Ostrander this morning as well. And of course, the Iowa side of the border, uh, a little bit of rain and lightning. But temperatures uh, on the mild side, we have some sunshine in Grand Meadow and Austin and here in Rochester with a slight breeze and that beautiful sun will stick around for much, much of the day between those shower chances. We were in the 80s yesterday, 87 the high temperature in Rochester, the warmest reading matching the warmest we've had so far this year. That was back in April though, first time we've been that warm this month anyway. And temperatures have just slowly fallen back for the 70s last evening. Out of the 60s, 62 in Rochester at the airport, Winona 64, 66 in Charles City on our way to the upper 80s once again today. We have some sunshine right on the Med City. Dew point 54, when you start getting the 60s, you begin to really feel what you would call maybe humid. 70 would be oppressively humid. At 50s, you kind of feel a little bit more so than you would earlier in the season when we do points in the 30s and 40s for crisp, dry air. Uh, now we're just feeling just a little more of that summer like feel in many ways. And the dew point will slowly climb into the 60s over the next couple of days. So isolated storms today, some in the morning, some in the afternoon. Each day features at least a small chance of rainfall or at least very scattered showers in the neighborhood. Not everybody's going to have it. And I don't think anybody's going to have rain every day, but there's a chance of rain in the area each of the next several days and a very warm week continues. 80s will be the rule throughout the week, at least 10 degrees warmer than the seasonal average the entire next upcoming week. Showers and thunderstorms migrating northward. There's more energy to the west and another area of low pressure to the north. And these are triggering showers around, as you can see here in radar. And we'll keep that uh, pattern going. So uh, kind of very uh, scattered uh, type environment, uh, but not a severe weather environment, though. 62 in Rochester, 65 in Kansas City. Warmth holding on. And uh, again, we're looking at the, those rain chances until about 9 or 10 o'clock this morning. Then a lull. And then after about 4 o'clock or so, we start seeing just sparse showers and thunderstorms. High of 87 later today. A lot of 80s across the map throughout the afternoon and the evening. Temperatures only after sunset begin to fall anywhere close to uh, the more seasonable norm in the 70s or 60s. Future track today, a couple of isolated showers give way to some sun. At about uh, 3 30, 4 o'clock, we see just a few isolated storms nearby, but nothing severe, nothing extreme. But the threat is there of at least rainfall. Tomorrow we start the day with some sunshine, but then we move forward with more widespread scattered storms. Again, not severe environment, but we'll see a slightly better chance of more widespread hit or miss activity. The same deal on Friday. We move into the weekend time frame with a lot of sunshine and very slight chance of maybe a brief shower too. Next couple of days feature very hit or miss rain, not much quarter, maybe a half inch of rain, slightly more maybe as one of those brief downpours, but nothing extreme. And then rain chances today isolated at first, then a few more after four until just after to sunset 9 or 10 o'clock this evening. Temperatures today well into the 80s with a chance of maybe a stray shower or thunderstorm. 88 in Dodge Center here in Rochester, 87. Tomorrow, 84 in Austin, 83 in Mason City. Rain chances each day, but uh, most that in the lower end of the scale there. Uh, so there'll be isolated storms and maybe slightly better chance on Friday. That'll be the, maybe the best chance uh, overall through the week. Uh, 87 today. Partly sunny, isolated showers and thunderstorms. Tonight, maybe a couple of evening storms, partly cloudy overnight, 63. The seven day forecast will stick with the 80s throughout the weekend and really all of next week. We do maybe cool off a couple of degrees next week versus this week, <laughs> but still incredibly warm for this time of the year. Midsummer mode right now with our weather. Yeah, 80s all the time. Thank you, Ted. Uh, it is 650.